Welcome to Makeup Effects Live at IMATS 2015. We are chugging along. What a day it's been Fantastic. here at IMATS. And we have two new guests, as promised. Uh, to my right, we have the great Norman Cabrera. Put your hands together. And we have Tom Hester as well on this segment. And uh, both of these gentlemen have been in the business for many years, been a part of some amazing stuff. A lot of you know them already, but in case you don't, uh, Norman, this is the end. Drag me to hell. Hellboy 1 and 2, Kill Bill Volume 1, House of a Thousand Corpses, The Time Machine from Dust Till Dawn, Gremlins 2, The New Batch, Coming to America, Harry and the Hendersons. And uh, you've got an Emmy nomination and two uh, Online Film and Television Association nominations for your work. Um, a big fixture over KNB for, for the last yeah. how many years now? Uh, I mean, I met those guys when I was 20, you know, originally. I moved to L.A. in 1985, you know, and, uh, and befriended all these guys. It's like, Tom was one of the first people that I met when I came out here to work for Rick Baker, you know. Did you uh, ever think that someday you'd be sitting at IMATS at a table talking I, to Tom? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no I didn't, yeah. And Tom, as a matter of fact, uh, um, I had come to visit Rick when I was just, you know, we were corresponding and stuff like that. And, and then uh, you guys were working. It was like right after Thriller or something okay. like that. Uh -huh. and, and, then, uh, and then, you know, I was like, you know, like all of us monster geek fans that wanted to be, you know, work for Rick Baker. And I eventually did get a job in 85, and one of the first guys I met was Tom. Um, so Tom, so yeah. for those of you who don't know Tom's illustrious career, as uh, Norman said, you were a key, key, key member of Rick's team uh, and worked on Harry and the Hendersons, uh, Gorillas in the Mist, mm -hmm. American Werewolf in London, um, Gremlins 2, the new batch, was right. also Rick, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Because uh -huh. Chris Wallace did the first Yeah, he did the first one, the first and then one. we did Gremlins um, 2. And just tons of incredible stuff. And when I asked, you should know, I asked Norman to be on the show and said, Norman, you're kind of going to guest host it. Who is your dream, your dream guest? Yeah. And you looked at the roster of who's going to be here. He said, Tom Hester. I said, the, fir the first person, <laughs> honestly, the first person that popped in my head was Tom. You know, Why? Why? Tom. Why Tom? Tom? This man What's right so here. What's so great about him? Well, so great I know. About? You're I'm, to blame. I'm not convinced no. this was a no. good idea. Why is he? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's funny because like uh, growing up, I, you know, obviously very influenced by Rick Baker and Rob Bottin and, you know, Stan Winston and, and, and you know, people who do, who are the giants of effects. But uh, in reading magazines when I was a kid, you know, um, Fangoria and that sort of stuff, uh, they act, Rick Baker actually did, right after American Werewolf came out, um, he did this, uh, they did an article article on Rick and the effects for American World from London, and it was a, the article was called Baker's Half Dozen, and it was in Fangoria, and it showed the six guys who were like the six core guys who worked for Rick on American Werewolf, and, but better than that, it showed their original work, too, so it was a feature on them, you know, so that's the first time I found out about Tom, I didn't, I was living in Florida at, a time, at the time, and, and I'm flipping through Fangoria, and I see this Baker's Half Dozen thing, and I'm like, who are I these can't guys? be Rick Baker, but I might be able to be one of the half yeah, dozen. Even if I can't, yeah, exactly. Meet them. If I can't be Rick, I, I could probably maybe. These guys are all in their early twenties, right? And you guys yeah, are like nineteen, kids. Uh, 20, yeah, twenty when I started. Twenty-one, yeah. yeah. And and uh, so I was like, you know, it, 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 what happened at that moment? I think is that, is that um, it made me realize anyway that you didn't have to be the older guy with horn rimmed glasses and a lab coat and a tie. You know, you can be like these guys in a T-shirt with long hair and, and like these guys are making monsters for a living. And then then you see their work that was in there. And there's Tom's early work, like like this lion guy that you did and, and a, uh, uh, um, a California condor mask. Right. And this stuff uh -huh. is just beautiful. I'm like. This guy is amazing, you know. Let's name check the other six while we're thinking about it. Um, the other six. The other guys and, were the other five, Sean McEnroe. Yeah, Sean McEnroe, Kevin Brennan, Steve Johnson, uh, Bill Sturgeon. Sturgeon. Who have I got? Let's see. Yeah. And then, uh, well, Elaine was Rick's first wife was working with us. Right. And Craig uh, was w on your crew. Craig Reardon for, was on, for, on American Werewolf. On American Werewolf, with yeah. Us. yeah. Yeah. Craig Reardon. Um, so what was it like? I mean, you're the guest host here, but I got to know. <laughs> what was it like being one of those half dozen it was, when that article came out? It was out phenomenal. I mean, it was just because this was, American Werewolf was my first film. And so I just fell right into this thing. And it just, it just blew me away that all of, all of this, these people love doing the same stuff I like doing. And they're also so good at it. And, and it's a good movie. 
Oh, and it's, it's a, a it was, werewolf movie. Yeah. It's a werewolf movie. And we get just, to do a zombie well, kind of so dead cool guy character. That, you know, he, Rick gave me the opportunity to do so many sculptures for it, which yeah. was just now was you did away. you did the um, the the elongated body. That yeah, was one of your this pieces. Is, this, this is a, the, actually you can see on the screen right now. They're showing the crew now. That's in England, right? Yeah, that's a crew in England. Yeah, uh -huh. that's an amazing picture. This, All we the were parts in that were made old for old schoolhouse there in mm -hmm. uh, in making uh, werewolves Richmond. in a schoolhouse. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now you now you sculpted the elongated body. Yeah. And you sculpted the, the elongated hands, oh, right? mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. Right. That yeah. most famous. Yeah, all, yeah, the, all the hands. I have pictures and stuff in yeah, here. There's, if you there's, see I think some he, of that. Yeah, let's go through scroll that. Scroll we'll just go through but it. if you want to go, I think maybe in chronological order, I actually wouldn't mind asking him about before he started in American sure. Werewolf. We'll go to sure. the beginning. What, show me. Well, so let's see. Oh, there's the there's the stuff from American Werewolf, some yeah. of the pieces that he did. You can see Jack's hand up on the upper right. Jack's the hand, The elongated yeah. hands from the transformation. Uh, and then the, the elongated body, which has absolutely beautiful sculpture. I remember oh, that <laughs> was printed in that article in Fangoria, and I remember thinking the anatomy of this thing is so amazing because it's not cartoonish. It looks dead real to me. You know, if a guy was <laughs> well, turning thanks. into a dog, that's what it would look like. You know, so that that photo just blew me away. Now, what was? Sh let's see some of the early early yeah, stuff if, of yours. If they can I think show you, some of the uh, the, very, the very beginning. I don't um, know if they, she can how, go right how to did the you, first. How did you, well, he's queuing that up. How, what, what was the first thing that inspired you to do uh, a creature or monsters or whatever? I think I just, I got to, a uh, family friend got me to, to go meet Don Post Sr. Okay. And so I met him when I was about 13 or 14 mm -hmm. and was just absolutely blown away. Yeah. And while I was there, he made a life cast of my face, uh -huh. wow. which was really cool. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, you know, and he showed me, okay, here's a life cast. Then you take clay and you put it on here, and you can make whatever shape you want. And then mm -hmm. you can make a mask that fits you. Mm -hmm. And was so the, I was, was this the mask that he made? No, for this you? was the very. This was. <laughs> this was. I was a sort of a problem child, I guess I'd say. <laughs> and and who so are you choking? Who's that blonde? This is my older brother oh, okay. behind me. Yeah, <laughs> who's stuck behind the seat. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of probably where the problem started. Masked. Everyone started with masks. masks. And John I always liked Post masks. inspired yeah. more careers. It's so yeah, true. Oh, like, we talk about that a lot with George Duchel and myself yeah. too. Like um, um, rubber masks. You know, yeah. Halloween rubber masks is like yeah. was like the start for so many people. Yeah. Now, after you did that, um, what was yeah. like? You had a, there's some more. Uh, yeah, if they uh, just cycle work, right? through, it might yeah, be yeah, easier yeah, to just. Yeah, let's Yeah, okay. Do this it. I saw this. This was a lion guy that you did. Yeah, this was in high school. Yeah. Uh, or just after high school, I think. Again, uh, it's beautiful. It's like it has, you know, it has a great character. The paint job's amazing. And you were how old when you did this? I was about 18, I guess. That's yeah. Excellent yeah. work. Fantastic. You know how to photograph it. So many yeah. people can do a great makeup. Yeah. But if and this was on a friend of mine. mine. This was in also in really high school. That's really excellent. Yeah. And, then, and again, Planet of the Apes. That big really, yeah, it was a for massive a lot inspiration. Of people. Yeah. 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 I also with that. I also got to go meet them too. Yeah. Meet some of the guys. Now, now tell me about that for a second. How did you meet people on the crew for Planet of the Apes? Yeah, I got to meet them. Um, it was just for the t television series. Mm -hmm. I went down and met them. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know, your father, did I you think. Did you meet dad on that? I think yeah. I did, because those. I met this guy, he came up to me, and I was just this little kid. Yeah. And, uh, but he, you know, said hi, and, and uh, yeah. it was just... You know, and then looking back, I'm thinking, you know, I bet that was Stan Winston. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he have a big old Jewish afro? Yeah, he had curly hair, yeah. Because <laughs> in the 70s, hair. he had yeah. a giant oh, yeah. afro. A lot of people have perms. Like, he would have been the only white, yes. Yeah. He was the only white man with an afro on the set. So yeah. if you can remember that, yeah, yeah. that yeah. was my dad. Then but <laughs> I wasn't much of a, I, I hadn't really been, you know, following the fans and, or, the, or the, the films that much. Mm -hmm. I just kind of liked doing what I was doing. Right, so right. I was sort of out of the loop as far as who was who. But, right, and then that, that um, the the lion guy and and stuff. That's really only a couple years before you met Rick, right? Like, yeah. uh, uh -huh. and how did you, how did you uh, did you send some pictures of your work? Like, how did that come I, about? I, w I met him. I came. And, um, I had my mother worked at the Museum of Natural History, and through that, through her working there, I met a whole group of people that were da dinosaur enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. And one of them was this Sylvia um, Sylvia Massey at the mm -hmm. time, and then she became Sylvia Cherkis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, but she was a good friend of Rick's, and she said, "You should see, you should show him your stuff." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that's what I did. I went down, and, and that was right when he was in the middle of kind of finishing up Night Skies. Oh, okay. And, and that was right about to start on Werewolf, Werewolf. right? Yeah, just yeah. before Werewolf. So, that, so your first professional job was American Werewolf. Was American Man, Werewolf. what a start. Like, oh, I know. You, you oh, peaked too early. early. You peaked too early. <laughs> yeah. Where do you go know. from there? Well, he, I know. You know he hasn't no. talked about Shrek and all the other stuff. No, <laughs> we, we should definitely get into that. Uh, Shall we do a... Yeah, let's do a... Let's go through the photos since okay. we have them. Yeah, yeah. just I can just quickly sit, make a comment here and there sure, sure. about each one. And by the way, all of you at home, 
this is an interactive webcast, so if you have any questions for Tom or Norman about anything you're about to see, type them in the comments, and if we have time, we will get to them. So yeah. take us through it. Yeah. Now they kind of they kind of jumped into the middle there, so I don't know. You jumped into the middle. Can we start at the beginning of the slides, guys? Are they not? They're, they don't seem to be. Uh, <laughs> we, our crew is going to just order them correctly for you. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, shall we talk about what's on the table before us? Yeah. These are some maquettes I did for uh, Shrek 2. Mm -hmm. I did the character designs for the first Shrek, mm -hmm. and then uh, they brought me back for the second and third third ones. I didn't do the fourth movie. I was Shreked out by that You were point. Shreked out, yeah. yeah. And you <laughs> created all your designs in, the, in physical space. In sculpture, wi yeah. Which were then scanned and cleaned right. up however they needed to be cleaned yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, I did these. These were done as what, that, what I call gestural maquettes. Yeah. Because that was to try to figure out what the character was, and so they would be an expression with a pose. Yeah. But then once the director liked it, yeah. Then, then we do a neutral. These are version. beautiful. I mean, they have a, they have such a strong. That's sort of the thing about. I always talk about Jordu and him and you know, everyone that we when we geek out about sculpture, how important form is. Oh yeah. Form is everything. Details because, because are. Detail is cool, and if you can detail something and detail it wonderfully in rendering, but get the get the form down first. You should be able to look at something from across the room, and and it <laughs> makes a strong impression. You know what I mean? <laughs> and something like this, you know, it's just it's it's gorgeously rendered. You know. Um, but uh, so now they, I think they did. Got oh, the, we've they got, got our the, photos back. They got the photos All right, back. back. Okay, to okay. The photos, guys. I guess we'll okay. do. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll do them as 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 they, as they come they up. They might not necessarily be in order, but I think the they heck, got all let, jumbled. Let's, maybe. Let's okay. fly with it, man. Let's improv. This is right. jazz. This yes, is it is. Jazz, jazz webcast. Right? This is live. There's know, no yeah. rules. Exactly. There's no rules. Exactly. You hit a wrong chord, just move with it, right? There you go. So we got this is Greystoke. So this is Greystoke. Tell us about this beautiful stuff. Yeah. So they're they're. It was just a, a blast to make these suits for these guys. Yeah. And we had quite a bit of time leading up to it. Yeah. So that the actors would work. They, we had like six months, I think, uh, where they could really work with getting used to the suits as well as work with baby chimpanzees. Like you see at the very top was a little yeah. actual now baby Now on the bottom chimpanzee. right, I know it's this tiny little photo, but I've seen that photo before and it's like a dissected yeah. cave. And now you did the body on that. You did, yeah, I did yeah. the body. That, that is absolutely gorgeous. It's too bad it's so small there. But there's another, that, uh, there's the another anatomy, picture right after yeah, that. Yeah, you can That's go to the next thing. photo. Uh, yeah, there, there we go. go. Mm. They, look at that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. You know, and there's Tom on the right and, of course, Rick Baker in the center. Yeah. You know? Um, and this was a blast because it was just, they needed a dissection thing. Yeah. And I'm not normally into the gore yeah. that much, but my father was an orthopedic surgeon. So uh -huh. I always liked the anatomical stuff. And the anatomy so. is, I, I remember, in fact, this looks like it's scanned from a Japanese SFX magazine. And I remember seeing this photo and talking to you about it back, way back when, you know? Yeah. And, and it's just a gorgeous piece. The anatomy is just absolutely real. Oh, I love thriller. this. this. I want to ask thriller. you about yeah. Thriller. Thriller. Yeah. I, uh, this he, he's the famous corpse that comes out of the crypt. One of the first guy, right? Is, is, I'm not or sure. No, the, or the second guy. Yeah, One of the first I slide the guy. lid open. He slides yeah. the lid open. That's and Tom Hester, guys. I know. <laughs> All that other stuff we've been talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was that famous zombie from Thriller. Yeah. That's yeah. the coolest and, thing on your resume. Yeah. And now let's 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 because I know we're we're short on time, but let's yeah. skip through some of these yeah. and move along. Oh, there's some great more stuff from Thriller. Yeah, this is building American the suit Werewolf. for Thriller. Uh, or, that's, or that's the thriller hand, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, right. that's the thriller hand. That's the hands from Michael. Yeah, I mean, look at the anatomy on that. That's what people who want to study sculpture. Now this was should, like, applying. Look at that Rick is applying the face makeup, and I'm just doing his uh, hands there. I'm applying yeah. little finger. finger Michael cups. loves prosthetics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. It was great. Oh, Starman. Starman, Star Man. That which was uh, Rick and my dad's uh, one yeah. of two that's collaborations right. with Dick as yeah. well. Dick as well. Yeah. One of the Star stages, stand yeah. the other stage, yeah. and then Rick did the other stage. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. Now tell us about this. This is, this is my science project. My science project, yeah. which is a Disney film. Yeah. And uh, so we just had to do this massive, this puppet. Uh, yeah. It was like thirty some odd cables coming out. Doug yeah. Beswick did all the mechanics yeah. for it. Again, look at the look at the anatomy on there. It's just really it's fantastic. You can you should be able to look at something from across the room and feel the power of the muscles and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's really that's really really important. You know, absolutely. Uh, um, this was this was a little film called Missing Link. Oh, Link! Mm -hmm. I remember I worked on that with you. <laughs> yeah. It was the first the first show that I worked on with Tom at Rick's was Rat Boy. Oh little, little known Love film. that makeup. Yeah. That's a great it was a cool makeup. makeup. The movie was a total flop. They wanted it to be the next yeah. ET, and it was a massive So they failure. called it Rat Boy. They called it Rat Boy, yeah, but it was Mel Paso. That's production. not as lovable as E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe no, the yeah. title was the problem. But then we, then we did Harry together, you Harry. know, uh -huh. uh, Gremlins 2. Gremlins 2. Um, you know, so, so uh, yeah, but I mean, this is, yeah, this one's keep cocoon. Cocoon. cocoon, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's beautiful yeah. stuff. This was uh, Gorillas both and Gorillas Mist and Harry and the Hendersons, both of those right. together. It's another so phenomenal, now, phenomenal yeah. piece. Go back to that picture was, that we just saw. Was that John saw. Alexander in the uh, yeah. suit yeah. in uh -huh. that shot? See, yeah. this, the upper left is his body suit. And that's, that's for I, Harry, yeah. That's for Harry and the Hendersons. That's the undersuit that goes underneath the fur. And, the, and that, again, anatomy is spot on. And Steve Wang, uh, yeah, he helped, me he helped that, you yeah. smooth some of it out. Uh -huh. Steve like says that. he barely did anything. That, he said Tom did it, and I came, and I kind of smoothed it that's a little. Right. We were like, <laughs> he's like, how can I mess with perfection? I'll just oh. pretend. I'll yeah, that's it. right. That's right. He's, uh. he, did, he did say that. But that was, that was a, to see uh, a creature like Harry being created right in front of your eyes, I mean, it was my second show, and there's Rick sculpting Harry's head, and Tom's doing the muscle suit, and, and you know, there's Matt Rose and Steve Wang, and, and you made and, it. And, you know, they were inside I, I was, the pages. These that you people, were yeah, and these people that, that I, you know, uh, admired oh. and had heard about, like um, you know, there I was, there I was working with them, you know, and and, and man, Tom, and I really appreciate you doing this because yeah. again, when you asked me to do this, I'm like one of the, the first person really I thought of was Tom. Yeah. It's there's so we work with so many really talented people and um, you know everyone does their little part you know and everyone uh, um, there's a tremendous amount of talent in you know the, in, in this field and I feel really honored and, and that we that we all do this and then it's a, it's 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 just a great business and made these friendships that now I've known you yeah. for 30 years 30 years and, and you know it's it's it, it was really a great move to come out here and and lo and behold we're all making monsters you know 30 years later and now the next generation <laughs> of artists instead of exactly. having to pour through magazines, they can tune in on the web and meet exactly. you for real and yeah. be inspired to come out and push this craft into new directions. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I know there's a lot of images that we could continue. I would love oh, yeah. to spend Several all day looking Tom. at them. <laughs> but Tom, where can, where can people see some of the work you've shared? I have here? a website, which is uh, just hesterstudios.com. Uh, that, that link is actually in the uh, description of the video. If you scroll okay. down, find Tom's name and you can click right through to your site, and you yeah. have some of this, this imagery there. Yeah, I there. have some of these things So even there, though yeah. you didn't get to see it all here today, uh, take a look at that and, and, and be, Thanks, be impressed yeah. and be really inspired. Really appreciate that. <laughs> and thank you, Matt. Norman. And yeah. Norman, how about you? Where are they going to find you, sir? Online. Uh, What's I'll, the best uh, way to online, reach you? I, not so much in online, but I'll be at KMB sculpting. <laughs> so to reach, Nor yeah. to reach, uh, to reach uh, Norman, you have to break into KMB. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Uh, choke Howard. Choke out Howard uh, and Greg. Uh, exactly. Greg Knock you, you, out yeah, Corey. Put a, put a sleeper hold on Greg, <laughs> and then you can talk to me. Or Carrie, rather. Or Carrie, or Carrie Jones. Carrie, yeah, will, exactly. Carrie will knock you out, so don't try it. Yeah, exactly. Um, you cannot reach him online, but you can no. reach Tom online. Um, so check him out, and thank you both yeah. for being thank fantastic you. guests, and thanks for yeah. the, right. the awesome idea for a segment, Norman. <laughs> you know? Thanks again, Tom. Right. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the show goes on, guys. We have... Uh, Alan, a pone, a pone, and Mel effects coming up, and they're going to be showing off some demos that are going off in that booth, talking to you about, talking to you about some of their products. So stick around. We're going to take a short break, and we will see you back at Makeup Effects Live at IMATS 2015. Keep Don't making go anywhere. monsters, man. Monsters forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right.